Okay, welcome everybody. Today is just a basic yoga class. Um, remember the main thing to do is to think about focusing on your breathing and uh, kind of letting go of all your thoughts uh, and allowing yourself to just relax and kind of almost go into sort of a trance, like a just a relaxation phase where you can just let things go for a little bit, okay? So I like to start with the hands palms up, open up the chest, and we're just gonna work on breathing. Inhaling for about five seconds and then exhaling for about five seconds. Try to breathe deep in the belly. And think of relaxing as you exhale. Just really letting go. And you can close your eyes if you want to. Just really let go and relax. Keep thinking about your breathing. Taking just a couple more deep breaths. Excellent. So let's go ahead and scoot up here and we're going to roll the shoulders going up and back. You're going to inhale as you go up and exhale as you go down. Really good to open up the chest. Let's go ahead and breathe in the chest here. Inhale up in the chest. And exhale. Good, let's go the other direction. This time try to get your breathing down in the belly. Inhale. And exhale. Straightening the back up and then curving the back. Good, and then just push out. Go ahead and just curve your back like a cat. Take a couple of breaths here. Go to one side, take a deep breath. Try the other side, another deep breath. Excellent. Then you're just going to reach down, reaching down pretty much as far as you can without falling over there. Pull the other hand up, elbow up, and then reach up and over. Think about breathing in your side this time. Try reaching up a little further as you inhale. One more time with that. Inhale, reach up. And relax. Good, let's try the other side. Start with just a nice gentle breath here. And then reach up and over as you inhale. And relax. One more time. Inhale, reach up. And relax. Good. Then we're going to grab with the other hand here on the chair and just let gravity do the work, stretching your neck out. Now you could take your head down and diagonal, and you'll feel different neck muscles stretching. Just kind of stretch it out in different spots. All right, let's try the other side. Take it to the side first. And then kind of go down a little bit and then back up. Just slowly feeling all those muscles. Excellent. 
Excellent. Then we're gonna cross the legs. You can either cross low at the ankles or up at the upper part of the leg there. And we're gonna to try to get this as flat as we can, sitting up nice and tall and just taking the chest forward. Good, now relax your back. So you actually stretch the lower back muscles here and keep breathing, focused on the breath the whole time. You can easily think about just relaxing as you exhale. Good, and then we're gonna take the knee and pull it in across the body up toward that shoulder and stretch that hip out. Hold here for a couple of breaths. And do what you can, you know, if, if it's easier for you, just kind of pull in the leg, that, that's fine too. Do what you can. All right, let's try the other side. So we're gonna cross low or high and we're gonna get good posture, flatten the leg out, Lean forward. So you might feel that in that gluteal kind of hip area. If you get sciatica, this is a sciatica stretch. You want to do this all the time, a couple times a day. But that's tight. You might want to do this a little more often. Let's go ahead and relax the back. Take a couple deep breaths. And then pulling the leg across. Just hugging up to the knee. Good posture helps. It gets you more stretch here. Excellent. All right, let's go ahead and just kind of open up the legs. And this time we're stretching the inner thigh. Leaning forward. Keep the back straight, that's important. All right, let's try it going to one side. So you feel it here on that side. And other side. Good. And then you're going to put one leg back. We're not, the main thing is to stretch out the front of the hip here. But also, if you can have your the shoes mostly down or your shoelaces down and then lean back, you'll stretch your quadricep reaching up and back and just taking some deep breaths. Might feel it in the belly too, stretching out that belly area. It's good because it makes more flow of all the fluids and stuff, blood flow, just get it all stretched out and relax. Good, let's go ahead and switch sides. So stretching actually kind of does facilitate circulation. So it helps you kind of circulate things too. So think about it that way. I think breathing really helps to stretch and circulate more too. Kind of reach up and back and just take some deep breaths in the belly. Good, and then bring both feet to the side. And we're gonna grab onto the back of the chair and just pull ourselves around, twisting the body. Just be careful if you have osteoporosis, you don't wanna break anything. Just uh, nice and gentle, 
twisting and turning. Good, and let's deviate from the posture here a little bit and lean forward, forward and down, just stretching differently, different muscles. Okay, come back to center and we'll just reach up, lift the chest and then exhale, reach back, grab the chair. Let's try uh, reaching out with one arm. I like this because it really stretches your shoulder. You can lean the head kind of to the side. That'll stretch more. And try the other arm. Just keep breathing. All right, well, let's go ahead and come to this side here. And we got the one more twist to do. And we're going to reach back and grab the chair. Go ahead and twist yourself around. Take a couple deep breaths. And back to center. Excellent. Let's go ahead and stand up. I don't know about you, but I'm ready for a downward dog. Just stretch out the whole body. It feels good. Just walk your feet back and just stretch it all out. Uh, it just feels nice. You might think about taking your hips back so you can get those legs stretched out even more. Legs are pretty straight though. Arms are straight. And just take a couple deep breaths. Excellent, and then put your right leg forward. We're gonna push into the heel. Bow and arrow stance, coming to heart center. Excellent, then you're actually gonna straighten the front leg other legs pretty much straight too, but it can be kind of bent if you want. Uh, but the main thing is to straighten the front leg. Leaning forward, this is a pyramid pose. We're just gonna stretch the back of the front leg. Excellent, and then go back to downward dog. Stretch the whole body out. One more time there. One more breath. Excellent. And then we're going to put the other foot forward, pushing back into the heel. Uh, hopefully you remember which foot was in front last time. Coming to heart center, bow and arrow stance. Really push into that heel so you can stretch the calf muscle. That's a good one to stretch uh, because that'll help your balance. Keep it stretched out. Good, take one more breath. Good, and then we're gonna push uh, back with the hips, leaning forward. Again, pyramid pose. Just feel the stretch in the back of that front leg. You might notice too that I push down with my toes. So I don't let my toes come up. Really push down and th that creates this stretch in the front of the instep. Very nice. You might even think about pushing your toes down even more. 
get that stretch out. Excellent. All right. Shake it all out a little bit. Yes. That one kind of reminded me of uh, an issue that people have sometimes is they get cramps in the back of their calves. Uh, and uh, I myself have had issues with that before. And I've taught myself not to wake up in the middle of the night and push out with my toes to stretch because that really cramps up those calves. So you want to actually, if you stretch in the middle of the night, pull those toes back the opposite way then you won't get those calf cramps. All right, let's go ahead and do some rotations. Because actually when you stretch and you push your toes forward, you're tightening those calves. And that's how those calf cramps can end up happening. Just teach yourself to pull those toes back and you won't have to get those crazy cramps in the middle of the night. Other direction. Now, if you're getting them in other places, I'm not quite there yet, so I'll let you know when I find other ones that I can help you with. All right, so we're actually going to go into some warrior poses next. Let's put the right leg out, and um, you want to have your knees pretty much right over your ankle, so that kind of determines the depth of your stance. Um, and this, this foot's just pointed the other way. We're going to go for warrior one first, reaching up and back. And relax those shoulders. Try not to, to get up in here with your, your shoulders. Relax them. And just take a couple deep breaths. And we'll just kind of flow through this here, going into warrior two. And really want to relax those shoulders. Very common one is People are up in here, just relax. Gaze past your fingertips there and just take a couple deep breaths. And then we go to triangle, reaching up with one hand, down with the other. And the main thing is to open up and look back behind you. And then last, we'll flow to the reverse warrior, reaching back, straightening the front leg. Reach up high and look at your hand. And you can always have a chair close by for balance. And relax. Good. Let's kind of shake it out again. <clears throat> Take your hips side to side. Good. We'll come back to the other side. Let's go ahead and do some balance work. And then we'll do the other poses on that other side. So let's go up to the balls of the feet. Got my chair close by just in case I fall forward. Keep going here. Keep balancing. Do a little more of me in here. Good. You always tend to go to a comfort spot. So go up just a little bit more. Balance for about one more breath. and relax. So let's go ahead and do some dynamic balance going back and forth with the star pose. You could think of inhaling as you go out with the hands. Exhale as you come down. Do two more each side. Good. 
Excellent. And last, we're going to do a warrior three. That's where you put the inside leg back. And you're going to reach out. You can use one hand or both hands if you need to hold on. Plus, if you have a wall close by, you can, you can kind of use that too. Do your best here. You don't have to go forward too much. Take a couple deep breaths. And relax, good. Now just pull the, the toes up. About four or five more. Good, let's try the other side. So remember, inside leg goes back, reach out with both arms or one arm. Do what you can, just keep trying. And relax, excellent, good. Go back to the balls up, just pull the balls of the feet up. Excellent. So let's go back to the other side of these poses for the warrior poses. We're going to step out with the left foot and reach up with both hands. You might feel a good stretch in this hip flexor too. The more you have that hip back or the more you lean forward, just make sure your knees pretty much over your ankles there. Palms face each other, just so you know. Take one more breath. Excellent. And then we've got a warrior two. Same stance, really. Just open up the chest. Gazing past your fingertips. And one common error here is that people will lean forward with the head. Try to make sure your head is straight up and down. Head in line with the spine and just gaze past your fingertips there, taking a couple more breaths. Good. And then we've got a triangle. Reach down with the one hand, reach up with the other. Remember, you're going to look back at the hand, opening up the chest is the focus, not reaching up and over your head. So reach pretty much straight up and then look back, open up the chest. You can hold on to if you need to. Give me about one more breath. And relax. Good, shorten the stance a little bit and then straighten the front leg, reach up and back. Uh, this is the warrior or a reverse warrior. I'll just kind of move my camera so you can really see me here, but so you can see my hand. So you want to notice that you want to look at your hand. Straightening the front leg. Take a couple deep breaths or one more breath. And relax. Good. Let's go ahead and just do some hamstring curls. Pull this back down. I think my focus was best this way. Just curling the legs back, stretching out, open the chest. Excellent. So let's go ahead and have a seat. Stretching. 
And we're going to start with the one leg out. Um, Starting from here. You want to pull those toes up. Pull those toes back. Lean forward. Just lean into it. And then just think about breathing and exhaling and relaxing, stretching even more as you exhale. Chest to toes. Now go a little further, challenge yourself. Excellent, and then we'll rock that foot forward and back. So I'm just, just rocking the foot like so. Okay, let's try putting the other leg out. Deep breath in and exhale. So you don't want it to be too bad, but you want to get a good stretch of the muscle too. So hopefully you can improve it and make it even more uh, flexible. Go a little further. And then we'll rock that foot forward and back. And then we'll sit back a little bit here. We're gonna do the mountain pose next. So when you do this, you're gonna tighten up those legs actually and put your uh, palms facing out, pull the shoulders back and down and just reach down, lifting the head toward the ceiling and just take a couple deep breaths. One more nice breath. And then give yourself a big hug with your right arm on top, left arm down below. And then put the leg that's leg on top. It's going to be your same arm that's on top. Give yourself a hug there. Take your chest forward and stretch your back. And then we're going to come into seated eagle. So one hand up, come underneath and around. And just straighten your back up. Do what you can. If you can only get, you know, here, that's fine. Whatever's good. Stretching those shoulders and the back and the hip. Taking one more breath. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and just stretch this way. Palms are up, fingers down. And then big hug, other hand on top. And then other leg over the top. And then raise it up, come underneath and do what you can here. Taking a couple deep breaths in the seated eagle. One more breath, lift those elbows a little bit. And relax, good, excellent. Let's go ahead and sit back all the way. We're just gonna do kind of a shaky thing here first. And then we're gonna roll each shoulder the other direction.
Okay, and then we got some neck stretches here. You can have your hands, palms up, uh, getting ready for the meditation as well. Uh, we're gonna look to the side. Look to the other side. And then just imagine that your head is like a pendulum on a clock. You're just gonna roll up and down. So you don't go back with your head, just ear to shoulder, down toward the front, other ear to shoulder. All right, good job. Well, let's work the muscles in the face. Uh, so just make like you have a sour face. Like you just bought it, bit into a lemon and it's extra sour. Good, and then just open up your mouth nice and wide like you're at the dentist office. Just be glad you're not there. And relax. And just kind of move your mouth up side to side. Take your eyebrows up. Take your eyebrows side to side. That might be kind of hard, huh? Okay, well, let's just relax for the remainder here. Just focus on your breath. Get a good posture. And just take some nice deep breaths. Just relaxing the body completely as you exhale. Really letting go of all your muscles. Just really letting go. And think of enjoying your breath. Feel the breath coming in and out and just relaxing with those exhales. Taking two more deep breaths and then we'll close up here. Let's go ahead and come to heart center. Inhale, reaching up. And exhale. Deep breath in. And exhale. Namaste. Everybody have a wonderful day. Just stay relaxed. Enjoy the breath.